Hello, and welcome to another episode of Breadcast Gaming Talk. Whoa! This guy is taking his discussions that he usually does for movies and applying it to a video game? Yes, that's right. I'm going to talk about a video game in the way I talk about movies. The game I'm going to be talking about is one that I recently finished the story for, and that's Yoshi's Crafted World for the Nintendo Switch. I'm going to begin by saying that I played this game on the mellow mode setting, and honestly, if you have a problem with me playing a game on an easier mode, then good for you. I don't care. I, for one, had a very fun and enjoyable time playing this game. Plus, the only difference between mellow mode and normal mode is that in mellow mode, it tells you in the various sections of the level where the smiley flowers are, and by clearly showing the red coins as well. That's really the only difference between the two modes. The level design in this game is really good in my opinion. I like how each area has a different theme and each of the levels reflect the theme too. My favorite aspect is the game is the way that everything looks. It all has the game of being it all has the look of being made from everyday things like tin cans, tape, cardboard, pens, pencils, paper, etc. And it's really neat, creative, and amazing to me. Now the story is set that Comic and Baby Bowser scatter the five dream gems from the Yoshi's Sun Dream Stone. And so you as one of eight colored Yoshis have to retrieve them. That's another part that I like, that there's a dark blue, orange, pink, red, green, light blue, yellow, a purple Yoshi that you can play as, and I personally played the whole game as Light Blue Yoshi, and you get to pick which Yoshi you want to play right at the start of the game. There really is a wide variety of bosses that are not that challenging, since they all have, you know, the usual weak spot that you just have to use three times and that's really it. Now, one thing that some people may not like is that as you're going through the areas, you will, say, unlock the next area, the next set of levels, and a block guy will come up and say that they need X number of smiley flowers to unlock the next area, and that can range between 10 to 30 of them. Now, in each level, there are 5 to 9 that you find, and 3 additional ones if you get more than 100 coins, have full health at the end of the level, and found all the red coins in the level. This was an aspect that before I got the game I thought I would hate because I've tried to play games like New Super Mario Bros. 2 on the 3DS that was a boring and not fun collect-a-thon where you know you had to get a certain amount of things to be able to go on. But I had no problem with at least finding all or most of the smiley flowers in the levels and had no issues getting to the areas. Now, when I got to the last level, um, I had 70 smiley flowers, and the last level required 30 to be unlocked, so I was fine with that. Now, once you beat the game in the story mode, um, you unlock a new area called the Hidden Hills. The first area needed 30 smiley flowers to unlock, so I did that, and I had 10 left. I found all six in the level, plus one for getting at least 100 coins, so seven more, so that I had 17 of them. Well, the next section of the area needed another 30 smiley flowers to unlock, which is a little disappointing, but I knew what to do. Something that adds to the replay value of the game is that not only can you play each level the normal way, but you can play them on the flip side to locate three poochie pups in each level. You get one smiley flower per pup, plus an additional one for finding them all within a certain amount of time. That's the point that I am in the game, is at least finding all three pups in the levels so I can get through the hidden hills. I really do love and enjoy this game. This is only my second Yoshi game, the first being Pootsie and Yoshi's Woolly World on 3DS, and I really enjoyed that game, which is why I wanted to play that, or this game. I love this game, and I love the two Yoshi games that I have played, and I'm working on a third one, being Yoshi's New Island on the 3DS. This game is just good, and it's fun, and it's so cute looking, and adorable, and I'm glad I'm not quite done with it. 
I hope they make another Yoshi game for the Switch because I really want another one. Yoshi's Crafted World is an amazing game that's also really fun and really enjoyable. That's all I have to say, so if you added the conversation, leave a comment below. As always, thanks for listening and goodbye.